Hi ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome once again Unique Fellows, I hope you guys are good. So today I'm bringing something very important to you and a very special personality, somebody you have never seen before and I've never interviewed any of their country people in this channel. So today I'm bringing to you a beautiful lady from Pakistani studying here in UM. So let's introduce her into the channel. Hi, Salamat Pragi. This is Seema Afzal from Pakistan and I am a PhD student here in University Malaya. Uh, today I will introduce Malaysia as well as my and my campus uh, with you guys. Um, I welcome you all guys to Malaysia who want to pursue their PhD studies here in Malaysia at UM. Okay, thank you so much. So may we know how you actually came to, uh, how did you know about Malaysia? How did you know about Malaysia? Yeah, a friend of mine, just uh, she was a graduate a PhD student here. Uh, she told me to come here and to pursue my studies here, in, uh, specifically at UM, because uh, it's the in world ranking. It's uh, on 70 number one wow, right now. Yeah. Okay, that's very great. So you basically, you knew about UM from your friend yeah. who was studying here. Yeah. Okay, and you're looking so young, lah. You're doing PhD or masters? <laughs> no, I'm a PhD student. I wow. just started my PhD. Like it's been six or seven months. Seven I'm, months. I have been here. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is an uh, inspiration to many uh, young aspirants there yeah. that want to proceed with their studies. Okay. So uh, basically, you have been in Malaysia for seven months. Yeah, for seven okay. months. Okay. Okay. So what can you say about Malaysia so far, generally? Yeah, generally talking about Malaysia, it's very safe. Mm. Uh, like I am a girl and uh, a country where I am traveling outside my home country, it should be like safe for a girl. Like I found it very safe uh, and uh, there is cultural diversity here in, the, in Malaysia. Even we are living in the hub in the Kuala Lumpur, which is the hub of Malaysia and uh, the city is very much beautiful and the surroundings and the other cities are lot so far very 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 beautiful and are natural and the infrastructure and all that the malls the buildings the roads the lake mm. i know you am wow. you're so much attractive so indeed this is another america right yeah <laughs> and this is a somebody, kind of if somebody doesn't have money to travel to america uk yeah malaysia is very it's great very, it's very cheap affordable wow. to travel to explore the nature mm. yeah this is beautiful Okay, that's great. So yeah, I would like to know about uh, UM. Since you have been in UM for seven months, I think you know a little about UM. So yeah. what can you say about your university? Do you like the university? Can you compare it to other universities from where you came from? Or like, what do you think yeah. about University of Malaya? Yeah, firstly, I'm here for my uh, PhD studies. Uh, wow. That's our research-based study. The so, research, the standard of research, the, uh, the teachers and the environment, Every facility is here in UM, while other university doesn't have like a, a open access to all the students, specifically for um, uh, PhD students. They in the library, even in the library, they uh, they provide us with a room. With the, we call them carol. We can uh, we can take the carol like for um, whole the day, and it's very comfortable. It's very like no one can disturb us in that place. So uh, PSG is all about like for concentration. Yes. So here we can concentrate in our That's studies. So yeah. We also have our 24/7 uh, library session, library card, in which we can. People can read and study even in the public holidays. And this um, part of the library is available 24 hours, 7 days. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to Kola. So we're going to be collaborative. Yeah. So now we will be going to the collaborative area of our library in which we can have interaction even in our long ways. Even we can have, uh, we can relax go and relax and talking to our friends and all that. Oh. This is like a dining room. <laughs> dining room. <laughs> so 
so it's like a freedom place, right? Yeah, it's like a freedom place. You have like group, group meetings. Yeah, the group like meeting, that. the presentation. As you can see, this is the Kola. Collaborative learning area of our campus. Which we can sit and talk and sleep all. People are reading, people are studying. Some people sleeping. In their comfort zone, even we have exercise machine there. Like oh, there. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. It's a fall place, right? <laughs> so this library is really, really great. Yeah. Really cute. As in, even the if you want to sleep. environment is very friendly and full of people who want to consider it. We can go there in the thesis section or in Keras or in other section. So this is coffee, coffee area? This, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the coffee area coffee. here. In which we have the vending machine for drinks and also for sweets. And we also have some boxes uh, allotted to us, like things for our belongings here, which are quite good. Okay. Yeah, we have a mirror here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this, this, this machine is for... This yeah, so, this is the vending machine for yeah. the purpose of the uh, tea and the uh, and also even here in the yeah. Wow, this library is really great too. Yeah. So you guys are enjoying it's in this fun university. Place, yeah. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so what can you say about uh, the relationship between students and supervisor? Because you are doing research, right? Yeah. The supervisor, talking about my prof, she is a very, very, very nice professional lady wow. and uh, she is always available, like 24 7 she is available for me, uh, like on phone or email, she never minded whenever I ask her anything, like uh, she is, like I never thought that, I never expected that uh, anyone at this level, at PhD level can go through each and every but but she used to do this wow yeah so she she's always a, checks on all of you yeah she's a great lady so with a great personality wow yeah. that's so beautiful so basically she's not just like she's not she's not just a teacher she's yeah. more of a mother yeah wow that's so nice okay so yeah talking about um also because i know some of the people watching right now they may be thinking of you know coming towards uh university uh, Malaya for their mm -hmm. study or something. So talking about University of Malaya, can you what can you say about the facilities? The facilities like uh, hostel. First of the uh, facility, the UM provides us the in uh, in the within the boundaries we can live within the boundaries of the campus in a hostel which are also affordable with the some uh, many facilities uh, like internet they have free internet electricity and all that all the utilities are included there mm. uh, and uh, also the lake wow. the sports complex wow. and, and this is the open area and we call it gym for it's open for everyone and the students used to come here in the evenings uh, to work out in uh, it's uh, free oh wow that's great so have you ever tried to yeah. Uh, exercise here? Beside my hostel, there are also some they machines also like this. Oh, yeah. Wow, so I tried cool. them and it's very good. It's so nice. Yeah, so you nice. want to want to see that show us? <laughs> no, I can't. You cannot try it. Yeah, I cannot right okay, now. Okay, that's it's so very good. hot. Very hot. The yeah. sun is hot now. So basically it's best to come here. In the, in the evening. In the after Maghribia, after six o'clock. Oh, okay. That's so good. Yeah. All right. And even we can swim there, wow. and we can also hire a teacher to swim us, to teach us. Have you swimmed before? Can no, you swim? I, no, I can't. Oh. I'm just trying. I'm just trying. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's great. Okay, that's so beautiful. So, what's your best food in Malaysia? Yeah, Malaysia. <laughs> like, what have you eaten? What, what are the foods you have tried in Malaysia before? Uh, nasi goreng, nasi goreng nasi ayam, oh, nasi goreng yeah. lemak, nasi goreng china, wow. nasi goreng mamak, and mm. mee goreng. Me and goreng. ice lemon tea is all the time my favorite. So, you love ice lemon tea a lot? Yeah. Oh. So, can you try the drink? Let's see. Always here. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And the cakes, and talking the about cakes. the desserts, I love the cakes, 
by uh, here in Malaysia, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is so nice. So nasi lemak basically is like the national food in Malaysia? Yeah. <laughs> nasi lemak is the national yeah. food? Why nasi goreng is like a fried rice? Yeah, yeah, fried rice and nasi goreng ayam, uh, fried rice with chicken. With chicken. Ayam means, okay, so yeah, ayam basically means chicken. Chicken, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so I'd like to know about the transport system in Malaysia. What can you say about the transport system yeah. in Malaysia? The transport system is very convenient, like it's very safe for us. Even if uh, we want to travel from in the morning or in the night, like 11 or 12, we can uh, travel alone. Okay. Um, and the university also provide us with the, a discounted a discounted card for our conveyance. Like inside the university, there are free buses which uh, which move all around the day, and it's very convenient for us to travel inside and to outside and from outside. the campus. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What about the, the, the cost? What is the cost of the transport system in Malaysia? Is it expensive? Is it no. cheap? No, the, the, con um, the transport system here in Malaysia is very cheap. I found only the, con the transport system very cheap here in Malaysia wow. as compared to like food is also very cheap here in the campus. Oh, this yeah. is so good. Okay, so basically guys, if you want to come to Malaysia and looking for somewhere that you can comfortably live in a beautiful place and with beautiful people with beautiful people oh my god <laughs> and then in a, with more you know you don't need to spend so much you know it's affordable Please think of coming to Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I want to ask you one question. A uh, very important uh, yeah. question. How do you see the locals? I mean, the locals in Malaysia. Yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah. Malaysia is. They have uh, Malay. They have uh, Chinese. Tamils also. The Tamil, the Indians. Yeah. So what can you say about the relationship between foreigners, foreigners? and locals? Or you yourself? Have yeah. you? Have you related with any of them before? Yeah, I have many friends, like local friends, like Malay, Chinese Malay, like Tamils also residing here in Malaysia from their, uh, and Malaysia is their birthplace, but they are very friendly. Wow. Yeah, they are very always welcoming the internationals towards mm, them. That's yeah. so beautiful. That's so nice. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the interview. We're almost coming to the end. Uh, I just like to ask some few questions. So yes, uh, Miss Sima. 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 Okay, yeah. sorry, I learned now. So can you tell us about uh, the social life here in Malaysia? Like apart from studies, yeah. you know, what else can be done in Malaysia? If people come here, what mm -hmm. activities can you do apart from studies? Yeah, I first of all I have met many friends here, like from different different nationalities, like from you know from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, wow. from India, mm. from I have many friends from Arab, from Nigeria also, okay. and China, Malay. Wow. Yeah, so and uh, and the social life, and we used to hang out like in. Uh, restaurant, there are many places for hangout here in Malaysia. In Kiel, specifically in Kiel, we used to go to Highlands, Islands, and uh, even in open streets. Like open streets are also very interesting to go in the evening and to have fun with uh, your friends. Oh, yeah. that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Okay, so are you on sponsorship? No, I'm self-funded. Self-funded? Yeah. Okay, but it's possible, like, one can get sponsorship here in University of Malaya? Yeah, maybe... it's possible, but there are some uh, very um, very less opportunities, less opportunities yeah, okay. sometimes. Okay. Well, apart from that, even the, the you sponsoring yourself, what can you say? Is it okay? Is it, is it affordable yeah, for you? It's affordable as compared to other countries. So basically, how is the hostel structure like? Like hostel, like you stay, you stay in our campus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm what can you say about the accommodation? Yeah, I'm staying here in uh, a college in the university. Okay. But uh, the environment, the overall environment is very good. Like okay. all our students, if we, some people used to prefer to go outside to live outside. But I think if you want to really enjoy a student life, mm. then it's uh, you should. I prefer to live in the inside the university boundaries and inside the hostel with other students, mm. just for interaction, just for to feel like a student. Feel yeah. Like a student. Yeah. Well, that's that's really really uh, very uh, excellent. It's been a very long and nice time with you yeah. on this uh, interview. So before we round up, finally, I would like you to just give a shout out, like when I mean shout out, just uh, 
talk to your friends, talk to your people, tell them what you want them to do. Do you want them to come to UM? Do you want them to come to Malaysia? Do you recommend this country and this university for aspiring uh, students or tourists? Yeah, for prospective students, it's a very good place uh, if they want to come to Malaysia. Even from my country, it's not a very big difference from Pakistan to Malaysia. Like, uh, the environment is very good. And the atmosphere is also very neat and clean, no dust at all. And what, can yeah. you what can you say about Malaysia's weather? And before you came to Malaysia, yeah. what was your expectation? What yeah. kind of weather were you expecting? I thought the weather must be like uh, like my country. Like it, it must be like three seasons, at, at least three seasons. Oh. But it has only two seasons, two kind of weather. <laughs> Hot. Already, or rain. Or rain. and yeah. the two seasons are almost every day, right? Yeah, it's it's not like it has a and period. Whenever I used to meet anyone uh, who is staying like here in Malaysia mm. since uh, for more than one year, I used to say, even in November, December, the weather will not be cold. This is no, <laughs> it will remain same from January to December. Oh my god, yeah, okay. but so it's okay for me. It's okay. I'm adjusting, adjusting uh, myself. Yeah, 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 that's great. So basically, even though the weather is hot, yeah. Uh, I think Malaysia tried to uh, make provisions, right? Yeah. Like in your classes, there are like AC. air cons, like in, even in hostels, in even in the library, it's highly air con, yeah. highly... Highly, very cold. Yeah, very cold. So you are one, when you are inside the library, it's like... like we are down. in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> we used to wear jackets. So Thank you so much for inviting me. You're welcome. I hope we'll see you some other time yeah, on sure. the channel. So please shout out to my subscribers and to the new people watching, to your friends, everybody. What do you want them to do to my channel? Do you want them to like? Do you want them to subscribe? Tell them something. Just people just subscribe his channel. He's a very good viewer, videographer and oh very cooperative. And you will really enjoy by watching his videos. And uh, it was very nice to share my experiences, to interact with you people through this camera. And uh, with the help of Mr. Faith. Yes. And we will try to come again and thank join you, you again. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. All right. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasurable time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, we'll be giving you more very interesting episodes. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment below. Tell me what you think about this interview. And make sure you click the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till I see you in the next video. See you. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Yes, please, please, please. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.